guys welcome to my channel and into my kitchen in today's video i'm doing an unboxing for the nutri cook air fryer i got this appliance recently and i wanted to do an unboxing with you guys um i really really can't wait to see what's inside and i'm super super excited to start this new journey air frying journey and um yeah let's see what's inside The first thing you see is a user guide to help you when you're setting up. And then we have the air fryer. So guys, here is the air fryer. This is the basket, the air frying basket. As you can see, it's big. This is an air frying drawer. At the front here, it has a paper that you have to peel that indicates all the preset programs. So I'll just peel it off. There. I'll put the basket back into the drawer. In addition, if you want to separate the basket from the drawer, you just come and press here and then they're separate. like this now that you can see it press here and then they're all the separate so I'll put this back into the air fryer and switch the air fryer on the air fryer is on now it's a touch display panel so this is where you switch on and off now it's on and then it has all these preset programs that you can choose from if you want to cook something. Here we have the temperature settings. You can either add or reduce the temperature. Here we have the time settings. We can either add or reduce the time. On top here we have the preset cooking programs. There are 10. They include fries, chicken, burger, sausage, samosa, steak, fish, pizza, broccoli, and cake. But you're not only limited to these settings, you can always um, input your manual settings to suit whatever you're cooking or air frying by adjusting the temperature and the time here. So you just press here. See, the, the temperature has gone down or reduce the time or add the time. At the bottom here, we have the preset button and then the cancel button and then start and then on and off button. It is recommended that every time you use an air fry, you should always preheat it. This ensures that the food cooks faster and becomes more crispier after air frying. So I've just cleaned it and I didn't want it to have excess water. So I'll place it back. And um, let me just move this a little bit. So um, I'm going to preheat the air fryer. It's on. So this air fryer has a preheating setting. So we are going to press preheat and then we're going to press start. So it's going to preheat at 200 degrees for three minutes. I had potatoes in my pantry. I peeled, rinsed and chopped them into fries. Make sure that all the water is completely drained. Then add two to three tablespoons of oil and mix well. We'll add the potatoes into the air frying basket after the preheating setting is over and then we're going to see how the potatoes turn out. After three minutes of preheating, the air fry is ready to air fry the fries. It's very hot. So now I'm just going to add the fries into the basket. In the way. So there are the fries. Just going to press fries, then start. Now it's air fried. So after seven minutes, 
the air fryer has a shake reminder to remind you to shake the food that you're air frying. So we're going to just shake our fries. That's how they look. Can you see that? Once you place back the drawer, the air fryer automatically continues. So now the fries are ready. Let's see how they look like. Wow, they look so good. They look like normal fries, nothing so different. Oops. I'm going to serve this with hot dogs. I'm going to add in the hot dogs and just um, try and get them oiled up. Um, like that. Now I'm just going to throw in the hot dogs. So there are the hot dogs. For the hot dogs, I'm going to press start and then reduce the temperature to 180 degrees. Reduce the time to 5 minutes and then press start. After the five minutes are over, the hot dogs look like that. I don't know if you can see that. So this is the final meal. I made fries with hot dog and the whole meal took me 20 minutes max to prepare. I love their pliers and I love the results. The fries are like actual deep fried fries, as you can see. They are semi crunchy, but I think it's because of the type of potato that I used. And the hot dogs are looking so juicy. They're not so dried up. They're looking so, so juicy. Let me cut it and start to see. See? They're not... They're not so dried up. Can't wait to make more recipes with the air fryer. I'm totally sold and I will be posting more of air fryer recipes from now on because I think now this is my favorite gadget in my kitchen. I'll be using it more often than all the other gadgets that I have. Thank you so so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and comment below. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so so much for your support and for being here. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and see you on my next video.